Hi and a very warm welcome to this video where I'll show you how it is I make pretty simple trees for my layout using some cheap materials, commercial armatures, some polyfiber and some fine leaf foliage. We start then with some Woodland Scenics armatures and all I've done is take the armatures and give them a light coat of paint, a mixture of brown and light grey just randomly sort of stippled across them. And then it's a case of just bending the, the armatures as they're meant to do into the, the kind of, sort of more spread out tree shape that we get. Now the bigger armatures can be quite difficult to rotate the branches round so I'm having to use two pairs of pliers here to do that. And we're going to rotate them round um, just gradually to effectively get them almost alternately that we've got each branch is at 90 degrees just to give the, the tree a, a very three dimensional shape. Then we'll just start bending the branches out just to, again, just get them into the, the, the basic shape of the tree that we're looking for. Whether we want a tall, narrow tree, we'll bend the branches more up the way. Or if we want a, a wider, broadleaf tree, we'll, we'll keep the branches relatively horizontal. And there we have it, the basic tree shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, the foliage is going to cover things up uh, and really take the overall shape of the tree. The main foliage then is Woodland Scenics Polyfiber or something very similar. It's cheap, um, it's really easy to work with and we'll get a lot of trees out of a packet. The main thing is to, to tease it out into very very thin um, pieces. We really don't want it to be too thick um, and this is the kind of fiddly bit is to make up lots of little individual pieces um, because we'll, we'll use quite a few of them for each tree but keep them really really thin and we're aiming to have several small pieces of foliage that we're going to to drape over the tree to build up the shape um, we don't want anything too thick and it's too difficult to work with a single piece. We're much better working with lots of smaller pieces that we're then going to build the shape of the tree up. Just going to dab some uh, little droplets of cyanoacrylate glue onto the branch tips and that's what we're going to glue the polyfiber on with. And we don't need very much because the, the spray that we're going to use to glue the foliage on with is also going to set the uh, polyfiber onto the branches as well. So this is where the tree starts to take shape. We're going to take the, the little pieces of polyfiber and we're going to gently stretch them out over the branches just using the, the branches to, to hook them onto um, with the CA glue on there just to, to get it fixed. I'm just going to gradually build it up piece by piece and stretch the, the polyfiber out so that we're not leaving any gaps but to try and keep the polyfiber as thin as we can. Um, it's tempting to kind of go in thick and have big thick layers of polyfiber but that's not really realistic. We can build up the thickness of the tree depending on the amount of foliage that we spray onto it later on. So just now we're just building up the basic shape of the tree using the polyfiber, stretching the, the polyfiber across, keeping it in small layers. So now we get on to the messy bit which is to spray the armature with um, a, a very 
thin solution of PVA, it's about 30% PVA in water with a little bit of meth spirits on it. Um, and get a very light spray onto the polyfiber. We then leave it for a couple of minutes just to, to tack up and then we're going to spread on the foliage. And the foliage that I'm using is a mixture of Gage Master and some um, coarse turf from Woodland Scenics. And the coarse turf has actually been sieved down to a very, very fine dust. Um, and it's important to use a range of colours. We don't want any tree in a single colour. Um, and I'll use different colours for different trees. So we've got light trees, dark trees, dark green, dark green with brown. Um, and then other layers of leaf colour on top as, you know, particularly as this layout set in a sort of autumn period, we want to see some of the autumn colours coming through in a sort of very natural look where they, they have a base colour and then gradually the, the browns or the, the yellows or the light browns start to come through on top. I've got the foliage in a tea strainer. Um, and what I'm then going to do is just sprinkle it through the tea strainer onto the tacky foliage with this PVA mixture on it. And we're just gradually building it up. Fine dusting, we're gradually going to build it up, depending on how thick we want the tree to be. If we want quite a thin type of tree with a thin foliage, we'll keep the, the layer to quite thin. But if we want a thicker tree, um, we'll build that up and we'll keep adding more and more foliage. So it's really straightforward to kind of tailor the tree to the the thickness that we want based on how much foliage we add and we can spray on top of that um, another layer an additional layer and then we can start adding different colors of foliage on top to to start to build the the kind of real three-dimensional look of the tree up